Hello and good morning and welcome to the Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Railway. Never been here before and I'm extremely, extremely excited about this one. Going to get plenty of footage. So it's away with the modern day and here we are with the steam engines and you can't get better than that. So welcome once again to Down the Line. And the first train isn't until quarter past 10 and with 45 minutes to go already, I've seen enough, that's brilliant. Um, but I'm not here alone, however. I am with my partner in crime who normally joins me on these railway adventures, Graham. Hello, welcome to the Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Steam Railway. We're here for the, for the day and this is my third visit here and uh, Stephen's first visit. So we're gonna enjoy the day and it's gonna be, be very nice. Um, I just wish the weather was a bit nicer, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a good day. <clears throat> so it's raining, but we don't care about that. There's steam engines at hand. Watch your head. The line here was originally part of the Honeybourne line and was built by the Great Western Railway between 1900 and 1906. However, the line only lasted until 1976, where it was finally closed and the track was lifted. Although only five years later, in 1981, the Gloucestershire Warwickshire Steam Railway was formed and track relaying began. Since then, the railway has progressed superbly, as you will soon see, starting at Toddington Railway Station. So, today our journey starts at Toddington. However, at the top end there is Broadway and at the southern end there is Cheltenham Racecourse Station. So there's plenty to see today and you are going to see that as well. I'm probably going to have enough to do at least two parts of this video, so the more the better, and um, really can't wait. Butterflies, that's what I've got. Toddington Station opened in 1904 and was built for the purpose of fruit traffic, with a fruit packing shed as well as a goods shed, and it sadly closed to passengers in 1960 and fell into major decline until its reopening on the 22nd of April 1984. In the existing locomotive shed that you are about to see, you can see an array of locomotives that used to dominate the railways, such as a class 37, 24, 47, and out back there is a peak class 45. I've already stood in one of the waiting rooms here at Toddington Station, and it's places like this, and I've mentioned this before in other videos, that really keep authenticity. It's a must, and having stations like this on the old lines with pictures behind me, that is why these places exist. And it's thanks to the volunteers that work here. So, it's a great job. Great Western train here is, uh, is quite a familiar picture. It's, it's, you can see it on, on different, various different sites and various different uh, uh, Preserved railways, and I've actually got this actual picture at home in my house. It, it's, it's above my bed, and uh, it's a very really nice picture. And I really love it. It's exactly the same picture, and I, I, I'm, I'm filled with it, so it's really, really nice. All right, I'm going. I'm late for my train. Bye bye. The thing I love about Heritage Lines is that it gives you the chance to sit back and really take it in. It's like time machines and you really get a feel of what it was like back in its heyday. And the coaches are in their former glory and restored brilliantly. And it's great to see them in person. So we will shortly be arriving at Cheltenham Racecourse. So we're going to be there for around 25 minutes before we you know start venturing back so we can make sure that we get all of this mine as done as we can. Um, and sitting in these compartments is brilliant. It's like a time capsule. You know, you've got your British Rail logos on the mirrors, you know, the lights, the upholstery, everything about this just screams history. And that's why we're here and that is why we love it. So Heritage Railways, they do their thing and they're vital to the railway world. Okay, and welcome to Cheltenham Racecourse. 
So mainly, obviously with being called race course, you would alight here for the horse racing and they do special trains here. So it's a short stop here, about 25 minutes, gonna get as much footage as we can. Dinmore Manor is just taking on water before it heads up the other end to take us back towards Winchcombe and Gotherington. So looking forward to it as always. Cheltenham Racecourse, as we see it today, reopened in 2003. The old station opened originally in 1912. It served the new racecourse here in Cheltenham and continued on for racegoers until the 1976 Cheltenham Festival. And special services for race days still happen to this very day. So yes, this is a heritage line and Cheltenham Racecourse is not the only station in Cheltenham. So there is the main, main line station managed by GWR around about 20 minute walk from here. So you can get a good variety and Dimon Manor is ready to go to the other end. So it looks like we should get ready. This station along with all the others on the line have undergone many changes over the years. And this station is the southern terminus for the 12 mile long line. And as it gives you plenty of chances to see the steam engines up close and get plenty of pictures. Right, and that is Cheltenham Racecourse done, albeit very brief, um, but we're only here for sort of 25 minutes nonetheless. Um, but no, enjoyed it all the same. It's extremely characteristic. And like I said, you've got the sight of the race course as you enter uh, and it was good to see you know Dimmore Manor doing its little loop round back to the back um, but no back onto the train and I think the next stop is Gotherington so looking forward to that and I'll see you there and the rest of this wonderful Cotswold line will have to wait for part two oh, so Cheltenham's done it's time for Gotherington <laughs> All aboard, 